So uh, my name is Scott Seibert. I am the practice manager for cloud and managed services. Uh, want to talk about managed services really specifically, but also kind of as it pertains to everything that you've already seen. You know, we talked about, or you heard about some Cisco stuff, um, ACI, intent-based networks, all of that. Jay just talked to you about NetApp. I love to talk about NetApp, as a lot of you know. Um, and then how that all plays into what I'm going to talk about and then what Jeff's going to close out with. So why managed services? Just like, like some quick reasons, why do people use managed services? Number, and I'm going to ask some questions. I like interaction. If you want to say something, just shout it at me. I don't mind at all. I used to teach high school. This is nothing. So 24-7 um, services. Um, how many people here actually have someone that's awake and monitoring your network and systems 24-7? We're three for three, no hands. All right? So we actually are monitoring your equipment 24-7, 365, even on Christmas and Thanksgiving while everybody's uh, checking the turkey, your stuff's being monitored. If something happens, we're going to be notified, we're going to start working on it before you even get done putting down the, the gravy ladle. <coughs> Finding and keeping IT talent. How many people think it's super easy to find high-level engineers and then get them to stay where you are for an indefinitely? No hands again. Um, I, get a, I ask a lot of questions and I get a lot of no's. Uh, it's like high school. Um, finding and keeping IT, that's what we do. If you have services through Network Solutions, um, we're not going away. We've been around for almost 30 years. We plan to be around for quite a bit longer. Um, when something happens, we get it, we're the steady state that keeps running and keeps everything going for you guys, um, whatever that may be. Too many diverse technologies. Uh, what, when I started off in IT, you had a lot of jack of all trades guys. You had all, a lot of guys that did the network and the security, and they did wireless, and then they'd start doing voice, and then they did the servers, and, and everybody kind of just, there was everybody doing everything. It's become much more siloed. Um, being able to maintain deep technical talent in every single technology is very difficult. It's even difficult for a company like us. I can only imagine what it's like for, for you folks out there. We have that talent. We ha uh, a lot of you probably already know, we have talent across the entire spectrum of technology and are able to provide those services. Proactive services. Again, this is one I never get a, I get, never get a yes to. Raise of hands, everybody that knows exactly what level of firmware their, their systems are running on, and they're all current. No. I even saw some people putting their hands underneath their legs on that one. I mean, that's, that's just a hard no, right? That's, our, that's part of our contract. Our ProCare managed customers get a contract that says we will do proactive maintenance on your equipment every month, every quarter, and every year. Does that mean we're always doing upgrades? No, but it means we're always checking to make sure that your firmware is running to the level it's supposed to be running, not necessarily the current level. All right, so that's what we do. I, I made a comment yesterday. It's kind of like the uh, sign-up sheet on the bathroom wall at the gas station, only ours is actually filled in. You know, we do check the bathroom every quarter, every hour, so on and so on, and make sure that it's clean and tidy and everything is in order. So why? NSI, I've kind of already been doing that because I talk a lot and that's just the way it works. Um, but another, certified engineers. We talked about the diverse talent. Every single service desk engineer at NSI is Cisco certified. Meraki, Cisco, CCNAs, CCNPs, we've got it all, all across the board. So that every time you're calling and asking a question to our service desk, you're not getting Johnny to just graduated from college or high school. You're actually getting a guy that's passed a certification that's demonstrated at a level of expertise in the subject area that you need assistance in. Pretty important. And this is homegrown. So every ProCare Managed customer, actually all NSI customers have access to Ticket Tracker, but ProCare Managed customers get a little bit extra uh, of what Ticket Tracker is and what it does for you. Ticket trackers, which you guys have probably, a lot of you, if you've been customers, have used open tickets at NSI for years. It's been around for a while, but we've made some really neat changes, advancements. Um, so I kind of wanted to go through a few of those today. Uh, this is like the main page. We call it a dashboard. Um, you can see 
Tickets that, are, that you have that are unassigned, we like that number to be zero. Active tickets being worked, resolved tickets, tickets that are in a waiting on status. You know, if you have a ticket that's waiting on an RMA, it's going to show up right here. You can actually click on that and then see which ticket that is. <coughs> and then we have SLAs. Our SLAs are extremely important to us. It's very important that we're meeting our SLAs on a monthly basis. One, customer satisfaction is very important to us. Two, those SLAs are directly tied to a money guarantee. If we're not performing, you get money back. Pretty simple. Um, then you see an add widget button. There's some more things if, uh, that are there. I only had so much space on the screen to be able to add stuff. But there's even, if there's more information you want, you can put all that right on your dashboard. These are pretty small, even on the big screen. Uh, the, the one on the left is just, that's your tickets. So what ticket number, what the status of that ticket is, who's working on it, when they started working on it, how many hours they've done, what they've done, when they're going to do something again. That's all right there. Um, this one's another big deal, and I don't, we don't have Jim here today, so I'll try to do my best to imitate him. Um, but this is SmartNet. This is your SmartNet contracts. Another question. Raise of hands for everybody here that believes you have a complete and firm grasp on all your SmartNet contracts. All right, so far I'm, I'm batting a thousand. Um, that's, this is one of the steps that we take to try to help you with that. You go right into the Ticket Tracker portal, you click on the little button over on the left that says Contracts, and there's a list of all of your smart, SmartNet contracts. Who it's with, you see we've got Dell, Compel, Ikahau, Meraki, um, NetApp, Symantec, they're all right here. Um, is it co-termed? How many people love to pay SmartNet every month? Jay does. Jay would. Um, so uh, then when does it expire? Uh, earliest expiration date, furthest expiration date. So you can actually see on which device you can uh, set your SmartNet links out for as long as you possibly can. So maybe it's not going to expire being able to get SmartNet on that for another three years, you're doing really good. And I don't know all of the details. Normally Jim talks about this at this point, so like I said, I'll do my impression. We care so deeply about making sure that we don't miss anything on your SmartNet contracts and that we take care of your SmartNet very meticulously that there is a money back guarantee from NSI that if we miss something, that it's something that's on us mistake that we made, you get paid. I don't know the details. I see account managers out here in the audience. Uh, they will be happy to explain that further because I can't. Um, but that's a guarantee that, that NSI provides to you about your SmartNet contracts. <coughs> uh, and then here's another one. I don't know, some of you guys have service contracts with other, cus uh, other companies. Uh, and us or just us. How many of you know exactly what's in your contract? How many of you know exactly what your contract says you are and aren't allowed to have us do or, or another company do for you? To just solve that problem, we put it right into the, into the portal. Your, con your contract, not a contract, your contract is in the portal. You can go in and see uh, what your SLAs are, what your service level agreements are, and then any agreement information that's part of that contract, it goes right in there. And again, because I said we care so much, SLAs. We could be reporting on SLAs. You see, like in this case, this is NSI as a customer. So uh, we're doing so well that we have a 10% failure rate on one of those. But uh, reporting against fi uh, 52 tickets in one month. So it's how many tickets month. You can change that to, I believe it's month, quarter, year to see what your SLAs are looking like. Any questions, thoughts, comments? I mean, it's, I'm super excited about Ticket Tracker. What Ticket Tracker was and where it is has been a massive growth in the last 12 months. I also know we've got plans to add a lot of feature and functionality. Um, I, I'll, I'll be wanting to talk about that again once we add that because I'm really excited about uh, what the plans are and where that's going. Flexible contracts. So I spent not a lot of time, but a little bit of time looking for a picture of sand and rocks in a glass. And this is the best one that I could find. So 
Um, it's a little, it ain't the best, but it's the best one I could find. So um, some of you have heard, uh, and maybe uh, probably account managers have heard me describe our contracts as the sand in a glass jar. So think of the glass jar as all your IT needs. This is everything you need from a scope of your business or corporation that you need from an IT perspective. Maybe you can find a big rock and you can shove that big rock down in the glass and it takes care of a huge, a huge amount, a huge portion of those needs, but there's still some space. So you find a few other rocks, you know, more people, and they fill in a little bit more space. But no matter how many rocks you put in, you've got some empty spots. NSI is the sand. We can design, we can set up your contract to be exactly what you need for exactly the services that you need exactly when you need them. We have contracts that go from a base level contract. Our base level maintained contract is a five ticket per month contract with rolling tickets. So what that means is you get five tickets a month and they roll over. Basically you get 60 tickets a year. Um, that, and then that goes all the way up to, we have our ProCare managed contracts, which is you pick the system, enterprise networking, collaboration, data center, security, whatever it is, all the stuff that we do, you pick that and we do end-to-end -end managed services across that. That's where we're managing the firmware. That's where we're uh, handling the tickets. The ProCare managed contracts are an unlimited ticket contract. You're a ProCare managed customer and you open 300 tickets a month, you get 300 tickets a month. Maintain contracts are a per ticket basis. The other nice thing about those maintain contracts on a per ticket per month, those tickets are not time gated. If you get five tickets a month and each one of those tickets call, call, takes us five hours, doesn't matter. One of them takes 32 hours, it doesn't matter. Every ticket is designed to, for us to work that ticket from open to resolution. We're promising we're going to take that all the way to the resolution. So we're across the board. Um, the real key point is the contracts are what you, exactly what you want. We have some customers that we do all of those things. We do a data center, voice, networking, security. We take care of all of that. We have some that are just collaboration customers. They want us to come in. They want us to manage our collaboration environment and leave everything else alone. Again, we're just the sand that fills in around the rocks. This one I'm pretty excited about, and I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm going faster or slower than I did before, so I'm, I'll, I'll try to be quick, but um, WebEx Teams. Who here has ever heard of WebEx Teams? Everybody yep, yep, <laughs> My repeat customers. <laughs> so I like WebEx Teams. Um, WebEx Teams is a great uh, little application for a service desk. This is what we do with WebEx Teams. All ProCare managed customers, and this is being rolled out to, I think we're almost done getting this out to all of our ProCare managed customers. All ProCare managed customers are going to get an implementation of WebEx Teams. The application's free. It hooks into our, our WebEx Teams licensing. It doesn't cost the, the customer anything extra. There's no extra cost to it whatsoever. And then you'll get, they call it a room a WebEx Teams room. You get your own room, so when I open up WebEx Teams, I have a room for every customer. In that room is all the people that you want to have access to that room. Also in that room is everybody on my service desk ta staff. All of my engineers are in that room, including me. So when you have a question, comment, concern, problem, anything you want to throw into a, a, a little instant message, you throw it right into WebEx Teams. Not only will all my engineers see it, but I will see it as well. So that's really powerful, quick, instant communication into us for any questions. The other thing that this does is we can share, and you can see right here, that's a document. So you can put do Word docs, PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, all of that stuff right into the room, share documents back and forth. It even does a little bit of version control because once you add it in, that version is time stamped and it's held there until somebody removes it. So you can work on, a, on a documents and kind of work through some versioning. We can do whiteboarding as well in this. So the last thing I'll leave you is a, a success story from WebEx Teams. We piloted this with one of our bigger managed services customers, <coughs> had them all set up. One morning, uh, this is probably four months ago, if not five, 
One morning, the customer sends a message. I lost call center. All my call center stuff's down. Who here has call center? Oh, nobody. Oh, call center. All right. When call center goes down for a company that takes orders, that's, yeah, that's a big deal. Their call center was down. No orders coming in, which means money's being lost. That comes in. Three minutes, one of my engineers responds. All right, hang on. Let me, let me take a look at that. I'll see what's going on. One minute later, my engineer goes, all right, I need to bring in one of our call center programs, programmers. Just a second. I'm going to add her to the room. You see her join the room one minute after that. You hear, you know, now they're, they're all working on it. 11 minutes after the call center programmer was added to the room, the problem was solved and the call center was back up. Where it's, it's a less than 15 minute duration of the entire issue. So it's quick, instant, easy access. We don't really want you always opening tickets through WebEx Teams, but in this case, uh, the company had it right open in front of them and they just threw it in there and we got them taken care of. So that's, this is where we're going. This is just one of the developments. Um, we've got other stuff coming. I'm really excited about where we're going to go in the future in 2019 with more features and functionality.